Jesse King here, Gannon's Army. How you doing? All right, so today we got a kind of a menagerie of stuff uh, we're going to be opening up. Well, okay, one thing we're going to open up. The other ones we're not going to open up. They're going to stay in the box because, you know, these are just, uh, these are the ones I just want to keep in the box, you know. First of all, I've got to talk about uh, this weekend. Uh, me and Lakin went to, there's a local promotion in Iron, you know, and they were here in Ashland, the you know, Ironton, Ashland area. FTC, dude, it was awesome. So first of all, they bring in like some of the, some of the best, you know, they bring some of the awesome ta top talents. You know, last time we went in uh, July, me and Dad went. They had, uh, you know, Shane Douglas was there, JTG. You know, they've had some guys there. This time, uh, they brought in. They had Enzo More was there. Friggin', he, of course, man can, man can talk on the mic, man. He, he spits it on the mic. It was awesome. Had a really good match with um, uh, Dale McQueen, which I've never met, never seen him before. You got to meet him. He was super cool. Like I got, you know, of course, I had to get an autograph. Here you go. Autograph. It says, uh, "Jesse, I don't want your girl," which is kind of funny. It was Lakin. You know, it's, it's funny if you know her. So yeah, um, that was awesome. Got uh, Rikishi and Sky Two Hotty was there. You got to see, you got to see the worm. Got to see the stink face. Um, Eric Redbeard was there. He, you know, he was he was super cool. Oh, oh yeah, real quick. So I had my Dan Housen shirt on, and uh, you know it says, "No swearing or be cursed." Well, he was getting ready to say something. He was like, "Oh yes." He, went, he said, "I don't want to swear. I don't want to be cursed." Yeah, but there was a lot of them. They're like, "Oh man, Dan Housen, you know, you know, very nice, very evil." They, yeah, they were loving that Dan Housen, uh, which is cool. Like Dale McQueen was like, "Hey man," he's like. You guys can be seen there. How's it? Have you met me? I was like, okay, cool, man. So it was, it was awesome. Um, who else was there? Oh yeah, everyone was there. Everyone was there. He's he's facing uh, Chance Proper. Was he super cool guy? Met him. Uh, you know, he ended up, he ended up being a tag team match with uh, Misery. Yeah, one of the big guys there in FTC. And they, and all of a sudden he's like, oh, you, everybody was like, oh, oh, two on one, huh? Opens the door up. Okay, first of all, okay. See how kind of stupid I am sometimes? So, like, I didn't know it was supposed to snow, right? So, he's like, oh, you want me? And then where we're at, uh, there was a garage door. So, he opens the garage door. It's snowing, right? I'm thinking, I'm in my mind, I'm thinking, dude, that's pretty sweet effects, right? Like, like how do they do that? Like, what, they got a snowblower out there or something? And they bring in a, bring in a, uh, a hearse, right? I was like, oh, 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 so it was really cool. And, like, yeah, it actually, it was, it was, um, it was actually snowing outside. It wasn't special effects. My bad, guys. I, I thought it was special effects. Anyway, uh, PCO came out. It was pretty sweet. It was, so we basically got four big guys in there having just a knockdown, smash mouth match. It was awesome. Uh, earlier tonight, they had, uh, they had a, the, a girls' match for the women's uh, the FTC women's title. They had uh, Ray Lynn, which is she was pretty cool. I got to meet her after the match. She was awesome. It was a great match. And then. My favorite one I got to meet was uh, Jordan Grace. Follow her on Instagram and stuff. And, dude, she is a beast. Just, like, lifting weights. She's just, I mean, she, she lifts more than most men. I mean, she's pretty awesome. Anyway, got to meet her. She was super cool. We talked about Planet Fitness. Uh, you know, we talked about, talk about a few things, you know. Boom. Autograph from her. Yes. So that was, that was, that was it was a great night. Lake, it was her first time going to a, uh, to, to matches. And she loved it. She was like, oh, my God, this is, woo, you know, she was loving it. She she had a blast. Actually, there's another um, local show going to be, uh, I think it's March 5th, uh, ECC, or maybe March 6th, uh, ECC there in the Ashland Armory. And uh, Lake, it was like this morning, She met, she's at work, she messaged me. She's, hey, she goes, I went, she's your dad going? I'm like, yeah, he'll be, out, you know, he'll, he'll be able to go by the end. She messaged me, okay, she's good. I got his tickets, front row seats for three of us. Dag, okay, cool. You know, so she, she's ready to roll. She's like, I got more of these. So, yeah, yeah, that's, that's what they do. You know, I, this J July was the first time I ever went to uh, kind of independent matches. Um, you know, we went to we went, we went just to see Dan Housen, right? We enjoyed it. We went the next night to FTC. So, yeah, man, there's local, uh, if you guys like wrestling, and there's local, uh, you know, you got local promotions, go check them out, man. Yeah, there, you know, there, there's some good stuff going on. So go check them out. You'll love it. Have a, have a blast. You know, yeah, we had a blast last night. It was awesome. Uh, I'll, I'll put up some pictures where we met everybody. At.
place up here by uh, Alexa, right? What? Yeah, she, yeah, she never missed press What? Okay. I, I don't think I can find a uh, uh, stand up for her. We, we have to do the picture. Is that okay? That's fine. All right. All right cool. Okay. Cool. I'm st what? I'm just gonna stand up. I'm working on one. Okay. I'm working. Man. Ah. Two knees. Ah. Okay. I'll find something. Okay. So. <sighs> All right, so I was at Walmart. Just, okay, this first one. We'll do the opening last, right? So I was at Walmart, and uh, they're, you know, they're starting to restock everything. Now, I don't like, I didn't, I watched a cartoon, but I wasn't a big fan of the figures, uh, the He-Man, Master Universe, Rare Revelation figures. Not a big fan. I didn't really like them. So like, I, I had to mind them because, you know, again, <laughs> that's another line. I don't need to be, I don't need to be dipping my toes in, paying more money. All right? I, I got the Legends. I got the Classifieds. I got a few Funkos here and there, a few Black Series, so I do not need to be dipping the toes in the uh, Human Revelation, you know, more twenty-dollar figures. But saw this one, definitely had to get it because it is just freaking sweet. You guys know, you got, you got to know what I'm talking about. Scare glow, scare glow, look at that thing, dude. This thing is just awesome. It says scare glow, evil ghost of Skeletor, fear is glow, the Skeletor Specter. Skeletal Spectre, God, oh man, rules in the underworld of Subternia, trapping lost souls inside our deepest, darkest nightmares. But it's been too long since Scarecrow has tasted true fear. Daring adventurers wish to pass through his domain, they must pay the price. Fear for Scarecrow to feast upon, be trapped in Subternia forever. All right, so here's the back of the package. Really cool side package. You got him. This is a really cool figure. I'll tell you what, if I can find another one, if I can find another one, I will get an unboxing on the channel because. This is just really sweet. It is a really sweet figure. It matches up with, like, you know, my, you know I'm a Halloween guy. So it matches that up. I like the glow in the dark stuff. So it matches up. Scary glow. It's just, just an awesome figure. All right. So, you know, I talk about pre orders all the time. I got this one pre ordered. I'll tell you why. I haven't even been really. Here's the mail that came in. It came in a bigger box and it came in this. I haven't really opened it up. But I haven't, uh, I haven't even really opened it up. So I'm just going to open it up here now. So, I don't think I'm even going to open this out of the package, right? So, there's tape on it. I don't want to cut the tape. Because I don't want to really... Maybe I'll, cut, maybe I'll just cut this one apart. Just so we can look at them. Maybe not. Because I don't know how this is going to work out. Anyway. So, they said they're bringing the O-rings back. And the first one they brought back, of course, Storm Shadow Snake Eyes. That's what you got to have. So, I got... If I got the pre-order in, look at this box. It's just a cool box. Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow. Right here. I see I haven't even opened it. It doesn't it doesn't even say anything. It says all the all the stuff here. Maybe just he's trying to slice it real really really slight really really carefully, just kinda. Cause I like I say I don't wanna see I don't I don't wanna like open it up. I know it's in there. Do you hear him? So yeah, I don't, I don't cause I cause I don't want to take the tape off and cut the box up. Okay, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna display them like that. We know what's in there. We know what's in there, but I'm, I'm just keeping it like this because I just it's, it's the box. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. I'm, I'm keeping it like this. Actually, I'm putting it back in the box right here and we'll kind of shut it up, right? Guys, you know, I'll display it, but I'm not gonna open them up. Okay. So the next thing we got here, this is what we're actually going to open up, uh, DC Deceased. Lincoln actually got one of these, um, and it was it was freaking sweet, dude. It was a Funko box. It's a, it a mystery box. But she ended up getting a, a chase figure out of it, which is awesome. So let's see what we got, okay? I mean, as you can see, it's not even going to get the plastic off of it. Plastic ripped out here. Blah, blah. All right, so let's see here. Uh, da, da. Okay. Ooh, this box is cool. Look at that. Look at the front. You got Batman stuff on it. This is just really cool. Batman and the Joker. Are we opening up? Let's see. Oh, what we got here? Okay. Plastic. All right. Maybe we don't need that. Oh. Got a Joker. Ooh, look at that one. So we got a Joker sticker. Awesome. Oh, this is a Joker case. All right. So got a little Joker uh, GameStop exclusive. Exclusive, uh, you know, keychain Funko. You got, ah, let me get this out. 
You got a Joker deceased um, pin. Another gay Scott's cool. That's pretty awesome. This might be. I don't know if this is the chaser. I'll have to message Lake and see if we see if this is the chase. I can't remember which one it is. Oh, the Joker. Uh, again, again, DC gave some exclusive. Look at that thing. This is just really cool. You know, look at the back. Look at the, look at the artwork on the back. That is just really awesome. There's some great, there's some great artwork here. Man, that's, I like that case. I'm like, you know, I tell you what. There, there was some more. It was like twenty bucks. I, I have a five dollar coupon. I might go actually go buy um, a couple more of these. Open them up on the channel. See what we got. Right. But yeah, so that was my weekend. It was a really good weekend, like I said. We, I mean, wrestling was a blast. They had a, they had a, uh, I, they had a triple threat ladder match between uh, for the um, for Poon Juan, um, Psych Ward, and Caleb Thorne. It was it was a heck of a ladder match. Man, like I said, we uh, and Lincoln's never seen. Lincoln, Lincoln's watching on TV. She's never seen it live. And man, it, yeah, I, um, I think it was Juan. Uh, jumped off the did a uh, suicide dive off the you know, apron or off the uh, other you know, other ring into the tomb. I think Thorne did a uh, dive off the um, the psych ward off the uh, top rope out to the outside. She was like, "Oh my god, yo!" I mean, it was, they were hitting the ladders. Oh, it was it was a, it was a great it was a really it was a great match. I tell you what, top to bottom, the entire show was awesome. Loved watching it. Can't wait to go again. Uh, yeah, the main event there they had was. Uh, yeah, the greatest wrestler in the world, Jock Sampson from Nelsonville, York. Boo, yo. My, man, I'm from Ironton, dude. We, 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 we're champions here. Nelsonville, York, you're one of these. Anyway, had him versus uh, Brox Boulder, uh, False Scout Anywhere. Before the match, we probably would get in the show. Like, it's like, hey, uh, is it gonna be, are they going to be like, any like, thumbtacks or anything? I'm like, no, nah, they're going to have thumbtacks on this one. Well, I was wrong. At one point in the match, old Jock pulls out an envelope under the ring, scattered the thumbtacks. Like it's like, I told you, I told you. I'm like, okay, you're right. I was wrong. My bad. But you know, she was she freaked out about that. That was awesome. He went to a table. You know, bounced on the thumbtacks. Man, it was you know, title got stolen. It was, it was a great match. It was a great main event. It was, like I said, overall, overall, all night, great matches. Loved them. It was it was pretty awesome. So yeah. If you guys get a chance, go to one of your local, uh, find, a, find a local uh, wrestling fan, you know, one of the indie shows, go watch them, man. There, there's some really good talent down there. You know, and, and, um, you know um, we've been to two now. You know, we've been to FTC, uh, Pro Wrestling Conquest there in Charleston, West Virginia. You know, FTC here in Iron Ashland area. And then there's got uh, ECC, we're going to go to that. It's going to be our first one here in, in, uh, in, in March. So you can't wait to watch those. But yeah, had a great weekend. Uh, we're trying to get some more videos out. You know, stuff's been going on. I haven't had a chance, really had a chance to uh, get anything going on. But we're going to get some more out here for you guys. Uh, but, yeah, hey, like, subscribe, show your friends. Hey, man. You know, most importantly, y'all have a good day, and you're dismissed.